Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Detroit, Michigan with a softard who, well, rather aggressively tries to argue about jurisdiction with the judge. But as usual, these kinds of arguments come out of positions of pure ignorance on the part of these softards. So let's just go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this softard make a complete fool out of himself. Little. He came yes. in, got his, got his phone connected right on time. Um, let me call Little into the record. And then we will get Lovejoy back up. So, <laughs> uh, Bernard Brando, Brandon Little. Speaking. Yeah. Right, City of Detroit, this is Bernard Brandon Little. Case number uh, SD 1513015, counts 1, 2, and 3. SD 1513291. SD 1556287, counts 1 and counts 2. SD 1556352, counts 1 and counts 2. SD 1556353, counts 1 and counts 2. Appearance for the record, please. Here. Elwood S. Barry Jr. on behalf of the defendant. State your full name, Mr. Little. Bernard. Your full name? Bernard. Not I'm, not, I'm, not the, I'm not the corpse. I'm not the I'm not the corpse. I'm not the fiction. Oh joy, one of those idiots who thinks that there's the corporate self and the uh a uh, living being. Uh, no, dude, there's no such thing as the corporate self. There's only you, the living person. And you are still subject to the laws of the United States. So don't go trying to pull that soft heart BS that one idiot tried to pull where he tried to make his paperwork serve time for him because that was his corporate self on the paperwork. It didn't work out for him and it probably won't work out for you either. That they send me the, the caps. I'm not that so, caps. So who who gave you the last name Little? Your mother? The government did. So your mother didn't give you that last name? The government she gave had, it to me. She had to tell the government, didn't she? The government. She was the agent of the... What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. Yeah, like all softards, you're apparently a conspiracy theorist, too. Uh, dude, she was not an agent of the state. She was her own person. If she wanted to move to another country, she could do it. She was free to leave. You, on the other hand, probably don't have the mental capacity to hold a job. Therefore, you don't have the money to go to another country as you see fit. And another drawback of having such limited mental capacities, you tend to fall for this sovereign citizen bullshit. She was an agent of the state? Huh. All right. What are we going to do with these cases, Mr. Little? Or Mr. Bernard? Uh, I, would like, I, would like, I would like to know what jurisdiction I'm being tried under so I can adequately uh, defend myself, Your Honor. Read, read, read the court rules. I'm not here to give you a law school instruction. Read the court rules. What do you mean? As a matter of record, I would like it to be placed on a matter of record. How I'm, I'm being, what I'm venue not, you are using, Your Honor. That's, that's not my obligation, okay? You what do you mean it's not your uh, obligation? It is your obligation. You took an oath to, to, Mr. to, up, oh, excuse me. Mr. Little. Yes, sir. Let's stop. Let's stop, all right? What do you mean, I'm stop? Not, I said shut up. Close your mouth and stop talking. 
yeah, dude, the judge doesn't exactly have time for your sovereign citizen BS. I mean, it doesn't really work in the legal system, so you might want to sit back, close your mouth, and actually listen. And maybe you'll learn something. But then again, since you swallowed this sovereign citizen pill, maybe not so much. I'm, 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 don't talk while I'm talking, first of all. Yes, yes sir. All right. Secondly, it is not my obligation to, to, to read you the court rules. You're here. If you don't want a lawyer that is... I'm not asking right. you to read me the court. I'm not finished talking. If you don't want a lawyer that's versed in the rules, then you are obligated to know the rules yourself. Okay? So all of that, what kind of jurisdiction it is and all of yes. that stuff, I'm not here to teach you that. I'm here you're not here to teach me, but you're here to inform me what jurisdiction no, that not. I'm that you're operating in, so I could de I could defend myself. I'm not asking you to teach me anything. You're not teaching right. me anything. You're, you're you're notifying me of what jurisdiction that you're operating in. Are you operating in commerce? Are you operating in uh ma uh 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 military? What 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 capacity are you trying me in? Well, you are in Detroit, so your physical uh, jurisdiction would be in Detroit as well as Michigan. So here's an idea. Why don't you go study the statutes of Michigan that are pertinent to your particular situation and uh, build a case from there for your defense. Otherwise, if you can't handle that, well, I got some other advice for you. Get yourself an attorney. This is district court. That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm demanding. I'm not. I'm not asking you anything. I'm demanding you tell me what are what process are you you, you charging me of? What are you charging uh, uh, this fiction of? Are you trying to get the bonds? I'm trying to figure out what's going on. You haven't notified me in the capacity how to defend myself. This is this is district court. These are criminal cases. Read the Michigan rules of court. That's not that's not explaining which venue you are attacking me with. Dude, go back to school and get yourself a better education because you uh, at this point can't even properly define your addiction. So how are you going to uh, argue your way through a case when uh, you can't even define your words properly? That's 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 not what court the court is the, the court thirty six district is not a venue it's a place it's a it's it's, it's an establishment. Is it is it, it explains everything? It it's not explaining nothing. I'm asking you to explain your what jurisdiction are you are you heading me in? That's a simple question. Objection asked and answered. The jurisdiction has already been told to you you're just too damn ignorant to understand it or at this point you're just trying to delay everything either way you're an incompetent lawyer why are you running from the question that's the answer well, well, what's the problem with you asking the question your honor you're going to be the third person that i give 30 days for contempt of court to if you do not why, why would you do that why would you do that wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's going to be some proper decorum in here, right? You're not going to sit here and you're not going to over talk me. I've given you the answer to your question. If you don't like the answer, let me finish. If you don't like the answer that I'm giving you, then you file a motion on whatever you think jurisdiction is and wherever you think the case should be dismissed. It's not That's about what. Uh, now you're about, to, you're about to go there, all right? One more time, you interrupted me, and we're going to go there. I said, that gives you your opportunity to speak to the court through a motion. So whatever you say, whatever kind of path you want to take with these cases, I'm going to give you the opportunity to do that. But you have to put it in writing now, okay? So I can read it. The city can respond to it. And then I can make a ruling off of who, who I think is, is in, in, in accordance with the law. All right, Mr. Little? You, you still, Your Honor, 
I, I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, address this matter properly. Okay, and I'm telling you how to address yes. it properly. But you, you you still haven't told me what venue you address me you. in. I just told you you didn't like my answer. So with that being said. We're not going to go back over this again. You're going to either set the matter for a pretrial date. I'll give you an opportunity to write motions and, 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 and you can and you can put whatever you feel that the law is and the state of the law as you know it or the state of the law as it is or with, with, with the court rules and the statutory laws and everything. You can put that in there. And then I will let Ms. Snyder or somebody from the city law department respond. And then I will make a ruling on how I feel who's on the right side of the law or not. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, am I on record? You are on record. Uh, I'd like to make a matter of record that uh, Your Honor hasn't answered my question properly. Uh, okay. I'm not satisfied with Your Honor's answers uh, uh, to my questions. I also feel as though I've been threatened. I feel like I'm under duress right now or a coercion. Uh <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mr. Lead Paint Drinker is feeling uh, threatened. Dude, I haven't seen anybody in this courtroom threaten or coerce you. That's all in your uh, d delusional fantasy land uh persecution complex that uh, has been given to you by your uh soft hard guru i like that to be a matter of record um and i'll let you do what you got to do john okay so we have a, a jury trial date already set for uh four of the cases um where we'll, we'll add these other cases to that jury trial date on may the 7th may the 7th um, yeah, it was a final pretrial set for the 30th of March, which would be on, um, which would, would, would be actually, that was a bad day because the 30th of March is Saturday. So we'll set another final pretrial date and give you a good date. And these motions, let's, let's give you um, a motion date before May the 7th. Um, why don't you give me the motion by April the 26th? Your motion will be due. So that's a time where you, uh, that's uh, April the 26th, 426-2024, motions due, and the response to those motions, if you, if you, if you write them, will be on Friday, May the 3rd. The city will respond if they choose to uh, respond. And then we'll set a final pretrial date, final pretrial on May the 6th. So um, your next court date will be a day before the jury trial date on May the 6th. And then I'll, I'll, I'll make a ruling on the motions on that day. I'll have read. Your your motion. I'll, I'll if the city responds, I'll, re, I'll I'll read their response, and then I'll make a ruling on the motion, and we'll see uh, if May seventh that we need that order that jury. All right. You have any further questions, sir? That's May sixth at eight a.m. Say that again. May sixth at eight thirty. So let's go over it one more time. The motions are due on April the 26th, 2024. You don't have to appear, but the motions have to be um, at, on my uh, on my in, in, in the, in, on my desk by May 26th. And um, I suggest you uh, 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 forward a copy of that motion to the city attorney. And then you say, you say April 26th or, or May 26th? April 26th. April 26th, the motion's due. The response okay, to right. the will be due on May the 3rd. We'll have a final pretrial date. That'll be your next court date. Um, for May the 6th at 8.30, and then we'll have a jury trial date set for May the 7th at 10 a.m. on all the matters, all right? Yes, sir. 
So you put whatever you need to put in that motion, however you feel the state of the law is, I would like to be able to read what you're talking about because I don't I don't really understand your position right now, all right? We don't understand each other's position, Your Honor. That's what we're well, trying to come you. that's what we that's what we're trying to yeah. come together with. And that's why that's the purpose of the motion. That's the purpose of putting all yes, of sir. that yes, sir. information that you have in, uh, in the motion so I can read it and review it. I might not still understand it. We probably are not going to understand each other's position. Oh, you now. will, Your Honor. You will. You will. Because right. it's your all language. Right. It's all your right. language. I'll, I'll... Bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah, I don't think so, dude. Uh... You can't even define words properly, so how are you going to interpret the legal jargon into something that either one of you can understand for that matter? I mean, come on now, dude. Uh, it takes years and years of education for the greatest legal scholars to understand that kind of thing. Uh, and yet, you are going to try to understand it in the next few months? Uh, no. You can't even define venue properly. I'll read it, all right? Yes, all sir. Right. All right, and, and, and just moving forward, let's 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 not argue about the situation. Let's have a let's have a conversation about the situation so we can have a little bit better decorum next time. All right, Mr. Lowe? It's never an argument, Your Honor. It, it may be dis it may be dis uh agreement. You know, because see I'm passionate about it because my life on the line. All right. Not only all my right. life, my trust. So, you know, it's a lot going on that, you know, ones ain't, ain't aware of that I'm aware of as far as them bonds and things of that nature. All so, right. you know, I'm fighting, I'm fighting for a lot. All right. If it's nothing further, sir, have a very good day. Best of luck to you, all right? You do the same. Yeah, you go ahead and follow your motions, dude. Because from what I've seen, you would most uh, surely make a rather incompetent lawyerly argument. Yeah, I'm sure you'd be laughed right out of court and you would be, well, advised to get an attorney after that, which you uh, are well within your right to refuse, but it's not advisable. And then you definitely would fail at the jury trial. But hey, if you want to travel down that path, well, that's your decision, dude. You're the, you're the one who chose to drink the soft tart Kool-Aid not me. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?